So I'm going to find the first term. So I substitute my n for 1, right? And so I get, let's do decimals, negative 9.2. Okay, if I go back, ladies, if I go back, delete, hit 2, I want the second term. So I'm substituting a 2. And I get 11.3, negative 11.3. Okay, you can go ahead and keep going. However, what is it decreasing by from term to term? Negative 7.1 is your initial term. This number here is my common difference, right? So you can continually use the calculator, but essentially the number from term to term is going down negative point negative 2.1, right? So if you find it easier, because you guys are, you guys have been working with numbers since kindergarten. You guys are good with patterns. If I go down negative 2.1 again, I get negative 13.4, bless you, right? If I go negative 2.1 again, I get negative 15.5. Yeah? I mean, you could throw it in the calculator if you like, or you can just, six? Yeah, six. Okay, but then here's the issue. There's no way I'm gonna keep doing this. It then says, uh, and the term named in the problem. They want you to find the 27th term. I'm not gonna keep going. However, when we took the test last year, I did have students that for some reason they couldn't type it into the calculator, they did all 27 or 34 of them or whatever the number was, which was fine. I mean, if they were faster, they could just do it really, really fast. Okay, so if you want the 27th term, that means this should be 27, right? That's what you would input. You guys okay? And so the 27th term is equal to negative 63.8. And so that's what you're doing for 7 and 8. So you're welcome to use a calculator. However, once you know what the D is, positive 7 is a common difference. You're rising by 7 from term to term as you progress. Here, it's negative 100. That's super easy. You guys are good with tens and hundreds and fifties. Um, so you're going down by 100. And then, of course, get the calculator ready for the large term. Stop the video. Yeah, it'll come back up. You guys know that.